I think a lot of people don't take the Titans as serious. Intercepted at the five. Sack! He's got a lot of more! Jeffrey Simmons! <laughs> Don't mind the words, tell the story. An intercepted fire. 20, 10. We write our story. End zone! This is a team to really be reckoned with. Everybody count us out. But who give a piss about us? That's going to dominate. It ain't a group in the world that I would rather go to war with night right now. They're a top team in the AFC. And I feel like going forward, they'll make some, some big moves. I really do. That's how you do that. On the road, getting doubted, tighten up. Only thing that matters is 72, baby. Tighten up! First moment, I'm going to tell you congratulations, okay? Yeah. Not shocked one bit at all, KB. If we play like that, okay, we fight our ass off, find out who we play, where we play them, and what time we play them, Tier, and continue to prepare, we're going to win a ton of games because we have a brand of football that may not be perfect and everybody's going to try to cut holes in it. We don't give a We just figure out ways to win the game. Figure out ways to win the game. That's your job. That's my job. We'll give you a plan. Trust the hell out of us. It's so much fun to watch you guys play. Offense, all I can tell you is I don't care how we got down there, but we scored touchdowns in the red zone. We were three for three. Listen to me, Jeff. We put a lot on your plate, man. Okay, I know a bunch of guys play great. Okay, you got to dominate and take over games. You hear me, Jeff? I appreciate you. Okay, babe? Guys, play your ass off, man. KB, break them down. Hell Go. Hey, like I said before, man, hey, we ain't proving nobody wrong. We try to prove ourselves right, man. Let's keep it going. Let's get healthy. Let's go. Titans on three. One, two, three. Titans. Prove ourselves right. The mantra of the Tennessee Titans, Kevin Byard, as this football team comes back from Los Angeles 7-2. and two. With Coach Dave McGinnis, I'm Mike Keith on the Mike Vrabel Show. Because the team got back late on Monday, Coach McGinnis is sitting in for Coach Vrabel. Talk about the magnitude of the planning, the coaching, the execution that went into that win Sunday night. You just heard Mike Vrabel say it. It's not, it doesn't really matter how it's done, but you have a very definite plan. You and I are very fortunate, Mike. We get to watch this team practice, and what we all saw Sunday night is just a manifestation of what they do all week. This football team is coalesced and come together. The thing that impresses me as a lifetime NFL coach is – how mentally and physically tough this team are. Both of those things have to work hand in hand. Titans have got it in spades right now in those two areas. The difference in this game really came down to up front pressure and the Titans let the Rams know on the first series of the game that Matthew Stafford would be under duress. This is first down of the first drive, and there is Danico Autry. Danico Autry, look, the, 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 the four-man rush has been very, very, very important you know, for this football team. If you can rush with four, you can cover with seven. They got five eligible, play zone, you're four over three, three over two. But the front, the rush, they're not just rushing one-on-one. -on -one. They've got a lot of games going in there, too. A lot of work that goes into this, but the effort is supreme. Danico Autry finished the ball game with a sack and a half. The very next play, it's Jeffrey Simmons with the first of his three quarterback sacks. Yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Simmons was just uh, completely a, a terror in this ball game. Completely took it over. It really didn't matter. If it was one-on-one, -on -one, wherever he was lined up, the three of the shade, it didn't matter. He was pushing the pocket. He was, he was getting knocked back. We like to talk about knockback on the defensive front as a defensive football team. He was not only getting knocked back, he was knocking the lineman back into the quarterback. This was a dominant, dominant performance by Jeffrey Simmons on a huge stage. Mike Vrabel talks about complimentary football. We'll take a look at a complimentary sequence of Sunday night's game, and we'll have the six pack when the Mike Vrabel show with Coach Mack is back.
Mike Vrabel talks about complimentary football, where one unit helps another helps another. As Coach Dave McGinnis and I break down Sunday's win over the Los Angeles Rams, a sequence in the ball game points out the perfect example of complimentary football. Let's start with Brett Kern. Oh, just amazing. This guy has all the clubs in the bag. He can hit this thing and make it jump back like it's a diamond wedge hitting a green. This is such a big part of this of a football game, such a big part of the Titans' success since the return of Brett Kern. This is a weapon. This is a defensive weapon. It's also going to turn into an offensive weapon pretty quick. But what he does, we watch him every day in practice. He practices this relentlessly. And what Craig Ackerman and he work out and put together, the coverage team also has to understand where they're going to go to be able to get these things down. This was beautifully executed. Super job by Dane Cruikshank to down it at the four. Two plays later, how about more Big Jeff and David Long? Yeah, Big Jeff again. This is the three-man game. Watch the three-man game. For a big man to be able to come around, a TE down, and the tackle around, this is huge. And then... Uh, Matthew Stafford, you know, gets swallowed up by a big by a big Jeff tsunami here. He doesn't want to take he doesn't want to take the safety, and so David Long is just standing there. Matthew Stafford throws it right to him, and all of a sudden, Titans are set up on the two yard line. And here we go. One play later, how about the offense complimenting the rest by putting it in the end zone? Well, I love the way they did. They went 13 personnel here. Everybody's looking at the back, wondering what the back is going to do, and all of a sudden, uh, Swaim is all by himself. Great fake. Nobody was out here covering him here this this was a perfect example of using formations and personnel group to completely full of defense in goal line situations titans took a lead right there they would never relinquish gets us to the six pack for this ball game and so the next offensive snap of the game the Rams give up another touchdown to the Titans defense. Great play by Kevin Byard. Directional delivery key is beautiful. He understood. This comes from film study. He understood the route concept of what was going on. Watch Matthew Stafford stare this down all the way. Great break. Really great catch. Really high point of the ball. Great catch. Touchdown. You can see the excitement with the Titans in the end zone. Huge, huge play. Kevin Byard's fifth interception of the year. His first return for a touchdown in his career. Exciting. The Titans take a 14-3 lead. Later in the quarter, the defense shows they're not going to let up. How about some more, Jeff? How about Jeffrey Simmons? Watch this. This, I mean, this is taking a this is taking a large 325-pound man and sitting and saying, here the quarterback here. He's going to sit in your lap. And by the time he sits in your lap, I'm getting ready to take you down again. Matthew Stafford is having nightmares all week now about what happened with Jeffrey Simmons and this defense of the Titans. Titans really had one good drive offensively in the first half, and it went for a touchdown. It was continued by a great third down conversion here to Nick westbrook -Akina. Yeah, Nick westbrook -Akina continues to show up. He makes combat catches. He's a very precise route runner. Ryan Tannehill knew exactly where he was going to be. This was a thread-the-needle type of a throw here. Big catch, big, big conversion. Number 15 has 15 catches on the year. Nine of them have gone for first downs. Later in that drive, Titans convert a fourth down, keep it moving. Another fourth down here and one. How about a little Tannehill finger roll? Oh, this is beautiful. And again, we talk about fooling a goal line defense. You think this is a fool goal line defense? Everybody on the field is over here on this side. Guess who's over there on the other side? Quarterback with the ball in his hand. Touchdown, Titans, finger roll. Ryan Tannehill has two carries in the game. He has a quarterback sneak for a first down and that run, efficient running by the quarterback. Fourth quarter, it's 21-9. Titans want to put him away. Tannehill to Arthur Wan. Watch A.J. Brown go across. You know, first of all, release off the line of scrimmage is beautiful. He had Ramsey matching him all night. That was two really, really star players playing against each other. This throw is right on. But look, look at him go up with both hands and be able to secure the catch. Strong catch and then being able to hang on to it. A.J. Brown, premier player. And so who to finish it? The future Hall of Famer. Adrian Peterson. Well, I love this. I love this call, and I love the fact that Adrian Peterson scored a touchdown, the put-it-away touchdown, his first roll as a Tennessee Titan. This was outstanding. 125th touchdown, right, Mike? Absolutely. Ties Walter Payton. I was there when Walter did his in Chicago. Proud to be here when he did his. He gave Marquise Copeland the business at the goal line, <laughs> finished the run, taking it into the end zone. Titans win 28-16. to 16. So we've looked at the plays, and now it's time to look at the Titan to see, can you guess this Titan? Sponsored by our friends at Delta Dental. Mike Vrabel is so disappointed he can't be here for this. Well, I know he's really torn he up He loves this. this. Yeah, he loves this so All much. Right, so you can't say 
This is your look. We have to go to break. This is how you tease the audience, get them to stay with us. All right, are you ready? I understand the tease. Uh, thank you. He gets the business. We're back with more of the Mike Vrabel Show with Coach Dave McGinnis next. Mike Vrabel, so disappointed you couldn't be here for Delta <laughs> Dentals. Can you guess this Titan? Coach Dave McGinnis filling in. Can you guess this Titan? I've been studying on this since we had the break. I know who that is. Go. Jayon Brown. Jayon Brown, yes. Yes. See, see, yeah, I, I think I've, this is the second time I've done this, so I've got to be, with a full disclosure, I'm one for two. All right, one for two. Yeah, but I got Jayon. Still better than Vrabel. Um, <laughs> you love Jayon Brown. I absolutely do, and I, I like the fact that he's finally back playing. He and David Long in there together was really a nice combination on Sunday night. I really liked what they were able to do in there together. Well, what we need to do is be able to keep our good players on the field together for a while now. That would really be nice. This football team has done a tremendous job of being able to fill in with some key, key pieces missing and some key people stepping up. But I'd like to see him out there for a while. You also love Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill in part because he's from your neck of the I woods. told him after the game, walking underneath with him, I said, that was West Texas tough. And he just started laughing. Big Spring, Texas. Look, Ryan Tannehill was the number one pick for a reason. This this guy, this guy's got – let's take the physical skills out of it. What he brings leadership-wise to this football team and just his ability to make things work, you got to love him. Yeah, and Pat O'Hara certainly does. He, of course, is his position coach. And in this edition of the Titans Files with Amy Wells, she picks the brain of Pat O'Hara about 1-7. It. Play fake, bootleg, right side. You're going to get a figure roll. Touchdown, <laughs> Titan. Oh, Ryan Tannehill with the green, green grass of home. Striding on in. Quarterbacks love to be around quarterbacks. They love talking about the position, studying the position, critiquing the position. And very few people love the quarterback position more than Pat O'Hara. He played quarterback at USC, in the NFL, and in arena football. He's coached the position everywhere over the last quarter century, including teaching actors to play quarterback in movies. And now he's Ryan Tannehill's quarterback coach with the Tennessee Titans. Good work, work. No strike, no. Yes on the swirl, good. To say that Pat O'Hara has found a kindred quarterback spirit in Tannehill would be an understatement. They work on every part of the job together, every single day. He's really sound, you know, fundamentally. It's really amazing in the passing game how you talk about a golf swing and the, these really good golfers that can repeat that event as far as that stroke every single time. And Ryan is really able to repeat that event in his mechanism of his passing. And he's able to consistently do that. And because of that, he's tremendously accurate. And then his lower half matches up with his upper half, which matches up with his mind. When your mind and your, your lower half and your arm all work together as a mechanism in performance, then you're able to have the kind of productivity that Ryan has. And so it's really a beautiful thing. He came here driven. Regardless of what happened in his past, he came here kind of clean slate and was super driven. Right away, you could see his work ethic. He's self-motivated, very self-critical of his own performance. Sometimes I have to leave him alone for a second, and then he comes back and I know he's okay. So I've noticed that about the competition level that he had. Very competitive guy. He carries himself the same way every day. You know, the type of man he is and the type of quarterback and leader he is. To me, that's a strong attribute when you know what to expect from your leader. There's not much changes from him, whether we might be losing in a game or or we're still up, he's the same guy, no matter what the situation is. So, And he's a true professional, so certainly appreciate that about him. Ryan Tannehill came to the Titans having had a rocky ride in Miami. The offense here in Tennessee has fit him well. Pat O'Hara says that the discipline that would have made Tannehill a great military officer is what makes this offense work. That and a keen intellect that Tannehill utilizes through hours of film study. The ball comes out on time, comes out with anticipation, and when he makes a decision that falls out, there's no second guessing himself. And that's because he puts in so much time of knowing our system. When you know the system, you can play that way 
and when you're able to process and see what's happening in front of you because the picture is one picture when you come to the line of scrimmage and then in the NFL, it changes as soon as the ball snaps. Being able to process that information in a timely manner and then still be able to get the ball out decisively to the right guy. So yes, his brain is probably one of his best attributes. Ryan Tannehill is a tremendous leader who loves his teammates, who is sound fundamentally, extremely decisive in his decision-making and in the passing game, and a very accurate and very great communicator with his teammates. The Mike Grable Show continues. Coach Mike Grable is not here this evening because he is preparing for the Saints. The Titans got home late Monday from the West Coast, and so he went right to work on New Orleans. Coach Dave McGinnis, kind enough to sit in for him. And the Saints are an interesting challenge because these aren't the Drew Brees Saints anymore. Not the Drew Brees Saints, but there are some people. I mean, you, you know, Sean Payton's still there. So that's a big part of what the Saints do. And then, you know, the keys of, of what I'm going to look at here, you know, incorporate not only Sean Payton, but what he's got going on, both defensively and on special teams. All right. So let's take a look at the Nissan keys. These are Coach Mack's Nissan keys to knocking off the New Orleans Saints. you got to handle their defensive front, Mike, because their defense is really playing well. You know, people have always, you know, talked about the offense, and you say it's, it's now Drew Brees-less. Okay, but now their defense has taken over. And with any good defense in the National Football League, it all starts up front. We've got to handle this defensive front because they are powerful in New Orleans. Similar to Los Angeles's power? They don't have the, – a little bit similar in the fact that they're, they're physical up front. They don't have an Aaron Donald. Not many people do, but they make a lot of difference in the defense. All right, let's take a look at Nissan key number two. You've got to stay aware of multiple shifts and motions with Sean Payton's play calling. He always has a lot of eye candy in his offense, and he wants to get you distracted. He gets you distracted half a step. That's where you see a lot of those big, big plays come out of. Throw and catch, but, but shifts, motions, personnel groups. Sean Payton has always been a master of utilizing those to confuse defenses. you got to stay on point defensively with those. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of that going on when they're trying to get the ball to Kamara. Well, absolutely. Alvin Kamara is a, is a tremendous threat, both running and throwing. I mean, he's a huge part of their offense. He will clearly be a key that the Titans will have to. And the, the thing about Kamara is, Mike, if you, he knows he's getting the ball, but tackling him is a problem, yeah. too. He's a really strong lower body back. Nissan key number three to beating the New Orleans Saints. We have got to continue to play field position with our punt coverage team. That is, a, that is an asset for this football team. Brett Kern is one of the best in the business at it, and we've got to continue to utilize that. Long fields are really important. Long fields in this game will be important. Brett Kern, his coverage team, the coverage unit, big, big time plays in this game. The Titans special teams as a whole, Randy Bullock, Brett Kern, Morgan Cox, the snapper, the kick coverage units, the returners, Titans about as solid overall in special teams as they've ever been. Craig Ackerman has to be thrilled. Craig Ackerman and his crew are doing a fantastic job. They really are. I mean, and what they're doing, they are being a big part of the complimentary football team that is sitting at seven and two right now, Mike. Thank you for sitting in. Well, it's great. I mean, I'm not Mike Vrabel, but I had fun doing this. Well, I'm glad you did. Now, I'm you, glad have, I got, now you have to leave. I'm glad I got Delta okay. Dental right, too. <laughs> you did. He got him. All right, so when we come back, we'll wrap up this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show. Thanks again to Coach Dave McGinnis. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show. I want to tell you about something really special going on at Sunday's Titans Saints game at Nissan Stadium. It's from our friends at LG, and it's called the LG Second Life Tour. And here's what it's all about. You've probably just cleaned out your closet, or you were thinking, I'm going to do that this weekend. You're going to make the conversion from all the warm weather clothes to all the cold weather clothes. And you're thinking, I got a bunch of stuff to throw out. You don't know where you're going to take it. Well, here's what we want you to do. Bring it to Nissan Stadium because LG is going to be there with their Second Life Tour. They will take your clothes, they will wash them, and then they will recycle them, distributing them to somebody who needs them. So you make sure and get your clothes out of your closet, they take care of it for you, and, and they go to somebody who can really, really use them. That's the LG Second Life Tour this weekend 
at Nissan Stadium. Bring your clothes, take them out of the closet, get rid of them, and help somebody in need through our friends at LG. Remind you, the Titans and the Saints kickoff is set for noon this Sunday. Big game between these two football teams, without a doubt. Titans and the Saints at Nissan Stadium. We're on the air on 104.5 The Zone with Titans Countdown. Amy Wells and Rhett Bryan anchor our coverage beginning at 11 a.m. Thank you so much for joining us, and especially thank you to Coach Dave McGinnis for sitting in for Mike Vrabel on this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show. Have a great night, everybody.